In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw and manipulate graphics in Visual Basic. Go ahead and start by adding a new project. And we'll add a timer control to this form. Interval is going to be 33, and enable is going to be set to true. And in form properties, I'm just going to set the uh, default start location to center screen. I go ahead and double click on the timer. At the very top here, we're going to be adding two imports. Go ahead and type in imports system.drawing.drawing2d and imports system.drawing. Right under public class form one, we're going to say dim back buffer as new bitmap. And we will have to give it an initial width and height. So go ahead and type in width and height, which is the uh, form width and height. In timer one, this is where we're gonna do all of our drawing. We're gonna say dim G as graphics. And this is our graphics object. It's gonna allow us to do all sorts of drawing functions. We'll type in G equals graphics dot from image back buffer. And this tells the graphics object what image it's going to draw to. We're going to type in g.clear and we'll give it a color. And this will clear the image to the color that we provide. And here we'll do all the drawing. And then we're going to need somewhere to draw this image and we're going to draw it to the form. So we're going to type in me.createGraphics dot draw image. The image we want to draw is back buffer and the point we want to draw it at is zero zero. And if we were to run the form right now you're going to see that it's just black. And that's because we haven't drawn anything yet. So let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. So we're going to type in g dot and we're going to see all of the different things that we can draw, a lot of things that we can fill, and a bunch of other different stuff here. Let's go ahead and type in g.drawRectangle. We're going to have to provide a pen. Uh, pens are used for drawing things that aren't filled in. Uh, so let's go ahead and say pens.blue. And then we'll have to give it a rectangle, so we'll say new rectangle. New point, let's go ahead and draw it at 1010. And new size, 100 by 100. Now if we run this, we should see a blue rectangle. And there it is. Let's go ahead and draw one more shape in here. Now let's go ahead and say g.fill ellipse. This time we'll provide a brush because it's a filled shape. And we'll do brushes.red. And we'll also provide a rectangle for this. And let's go ahead and give it the exact same rectangle. So new point 1010 and new size 100 by 100. Go ahead and run that. And we'll see a uh, blue rectangle with a red filled ellipse inside. Now say we wanted to center this. Under new point we're going to say client size dot width divided by 2 which will get the center of the client minus half of the width of the shape so minus 50. And we'll do the exact same thing for the y. Client size dot height divided by 2 minus 50. We should be able to copy this into the fill ellipse as well. Go ahead and run that. And you'll see that we have our image is centered now. Now say we wanted to draw with a gradient brush. At the top here under back buffer we can say dim gradient brush as new linear gradient brush. We'll have to give it two points. 
first point we'll say is um, perhaps 100, 100. Second point of 200, 200. And then we'll have to give it two colors. Let's use blue and red. Now under fill ellipse, instead of saying brushes.red, we can just replace it with gradient brush. And now we have a nice gradient. What if we want to allow the user to rotate this image or move it around the form? Under gradient brush, we'll say dim image matrix as new matrix. And then under timer one, right under g.clear, we'll type in g.transform equals image matrix. And that will apply the image matrix to our graphics object. We're going to go to form one events and go right the way down to key down. And we'll start off by saying select case e.keycode. Type in case keys dot a and case keys dot b. Under keys dot a, we're going to type in image matrix dot rotate at, and this will rotate our image around a point that we provide. We'll give it an angle value of negative 10. And the point will actually be the client size dot width divided by 2, client size dot height divided by 2, and this will rotate the image around the center of our form. We'll use the same line of code for keys.e except to make it a positive 10 for the angle value. And now you can see with A and D we can rotate the image. Let's go ahead and add a couple more here. Maybe add the space bar the addition key and the subtraction key. Under spacebar we're going to use image matrix dot reset. Under the add key, how about we zoom? So we'll do image matrix dot scale 1.01 1.01 and under subtract key we'll use scale 0.99.99 .99. Now we should be able to zoom in, zoom out, rotate, and reset. If we want to allow the user to move the image around with their mouse, we're going to go up to the very top here. We'll say dim is mouse down as boolean equals false. And dim mouse point as point. Now under form on events, go to mouse down and say is mouse down equals true and mouse point equals e dot location. Now we'll go to form on events, mouse move. And we'll say if is mouse down equals true, image matrix dot translate. This will allow us to move our image matrix. And for the x offset value, we'll use e dot x minus mouse point dot x. And we'll do the same for the y value, e dot y minus mouse point dot y. This is the difference between our current mouse point and our last known location. And then we'll also say mouse point equals e dot location. Under mouse up, we'll say is mouse down equals false. You'll notice that we can now move around the image with our mouse. Now if we happen to resize this form, You'll notice that our back buffer doesn't grow to meet the form. So under form one events, resize end, we'll say back buffer equals new bitmap. 
width, comma, height. This will allow us to resize our form. I highly recommend to uh, play around with all the different functions of drawing g dot. You'll notice that there's a lot of things you can do here. Um, if you're trying to make a game, draw image is going to be very useful. You can draw tile images. You can draw strings and all sorts of shapes. Let's go ahead and draw a string here. We'll provide a string of hello world, a font of the forms font, perhaps a green brush, and we'll put it at the new point 1010. And there's our string. Notice that we can move it around with the rest of the image. We can also rotate it. Feel free to play around with all these different functions. Like I said earlier, there's quite a few of them. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Thanks for watching.